Rex, who lives on the Joysy Shore. I love it. Rex writes to me, he says, hey Paul, I have a vintage stereo set up with a CD player. I am also vintage myself. <laughs> well, join the crowd, Rex. A couple of vintage guys here. Um, I would like to upgrade my electronics and move into the world of digital streaming, but I find the entire topic technically confusing. Well, you are not alone, sir. What goes with what, etc. Can you recommend any comprehensive but easily understood guides to digital audio? Perhaps this is something you will pen someday, and with respect to PS Audio, just how the DACs vary among all your various products. Okay, let's unpack what we can here. First off, yes, Rex, I have penned exactly that, and it's called the Audiophiles Guide. And by the time you see this video, it's likely not going to be out, but it will be out this year. This is 2024. And when I'm making this video right now, we're coming up on, what is it, November 8th or something? I guess I could look at my watch. What is it? November, so I can't see without, oh, the 9th. All right. So here I am, November 9th. So sometime in December, the Audiophiles Guide will be available on Amazon. Um, and I'm also doing a, a set, but you may be only interested in the digital. But the Audiophiles Guide Digital Audio is exactly what you want. And in this book, I worked really hard in all of these books to explain in very simple language and terms through story. You know, I love to write stories. I, my, my book series, Emians, is a story all about you know our, our ancestors and all that. It's a kind of a fun story. So I love story. So every one of these starts out as a story, and I tell the history, how did digital audio come to be, what is it in terms that you or anybody can explain. And then that's in section one, you kind of understand it. And then in section two of these books is the practical guide. Now, what do you do with that information? And then in section three, it gets gobbledygook and talking tech. Most people probably aren't going to go, eh, don't need that. But sections one and two are going to be really useful and interesting. So Look for that, the Audiophiles Guide, Digital Audio. In the meantime, you want to get into streaming. Well, there are a number of ways to do that. If you want to go with PS Audio, you just call us up, 800 PS Audio, and one of our guys will walk you through it. <clears throat> Piece of cake. Get an air lens, you hook it up, there's an HDMI cable that comes out, you have an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi, hook it up on your phone, boom, put it into a DAC and music comes out. Pretty simple. And they'll walk you through it. It's pretty easy. If you don't want to go with PS Audio, if you want to make it like just sort of dip your toe into it, there's a number of ways you can go. What is it Blue Sound? Um, there's a couple of $500 boxes that you can buy that are kind of same sort of thing, kind of all in one. You control it through your phone. It's fun, streaming is cool. It is definitely the future. As we get better and better at sound quality at making it simpler and simpler so that it's just easy to use, streaming is very, very cool. So my recommendation, <coughs> um, call us. Just give us a buzz, Taylor, Caleb, Chris, any number of people get on Aaron, you know, get on the phone and let us walk you through it and we'll help you out. If you don't want to go our route, we'll recommend some other way for you to go. But yeah, jump in as a vintage guy. Uh, I stream something every day and you should be doing the same thing. All right. Thanks. Bye.